All around here there are steep mounds and you get the impression that we're only just seeing the tip of the iceberg, but these rocks go down hundreds of feet below and maybe half a mile that way, half a mile that way into the mountain and it goes much higher up. So who would have built these ma massive structures? That's the big question. Well, if you go on my website, I deal with all these things. I've, I've done thorough research in many fields of science. It's taken me months. This is just the finalization, put the cream on the cake. But I would like scientists and archeologists to show an interest and get the government moving to dig up this place because I think we have a treasure for both Scotland and for the UK and for people from all over the world come and see this. The other thing I want to add is what Susanna was saying before. A lot of this looks suspiciously like it's been covered up by planting trees all around where the rocks are and Steve Quayle and Timothy Alberino, when they were going to Sardinia, they said the same thing, that the, the real attractive things for the tourists were not even shown to the tourists. They were hedged around with trees and that's exactly what they've done here. And um, I think I mentioned before, there's a tourist board over there, 150 yards north of here. And it shows seven uh, places to visit here, archaeologically speaking. It doesn't even mention what you're seeing now. Not even mentioned. Why? Why, why are they hiding it up? Why is it all buried when it's obviously a treasure? To me, I'd say this is cyclopean structures built thousands and thousands of years ago. And it's, for one reason or the other, it's been deliberately hidden. That is my summation on, on this video.